Hello everybody, I hope that you're doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going through the Bitcoin chart here, the current levels where we are finding resistance from, the reasons for this and how I believe this will trade going into the weekend. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this video and let me start here, okay, with a thought provoking question I guess, why do you think that we're finding resistance on this chart, okay, and remember this, that in trading there is never, okay, there is never a random pivot on a chart, be that a major high and a major low or just be an intraday trading resistance okay okay with that in mind the level that we are finding resistance off right now okay it is the Fibonacci golden pocket okay so from our high to low fibs we can see here price coming up to the golden pocket and finding rejections 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 okay so three rejections today okay where we can also see when we take our fibs and this is I'm going to refer to the tweet because I had a lot of people uh, message me about this we take our fib extension from low to high to low and we can see in the golden pocket here, we had the one-to-one -one extension. So a bit of Fibonacci confluence, uh, which I obviously tweeted out today saying, um, traders often ask if they can predict, tr you know, price movements with Fibonacci. Okay. So what we can say is, pre-calculated targets okay so Fibonacci targets we never know we can never guarantee targets going to be reached but when a price when price comes up to our target we can say with a high degree of probabilities that there will be a reaction at that level okay so as as wrote here I think I said okay but what we can say is that as soon as a a a target pre-calculated by the combined Fibonacci figures is reached, the chances for reaction are very high. Okay, so this was earlier in the day when we were just hitting the golden pocket with the one-to-one -one extension. And uh, you can see the reactions that we've had from this. One, two, three, and a downwards movement, okay? And this is obviously for intraday trading because this is an intraday trading time frame. We're here on the 15 minute on the grand picture. We know that the, the trend is down here. And this are intraday pivots that we're taking for the golden pocket, okay? So this is obviously giving you about a 1.5% move, okay? So that's very good for a short in the day term. Even if you're just trading it down to here, in the grand scheme of things, it's, uh, you know, that's still a day trade right there. Okay. Um, so with that in mind, I just wanted to alert you to the immediate resistance that we're finding. Okay. So is this resistance likely to hold up over the weekend? Okay. I think overall, no. Okay. This is a, a reaction where you expect, you know, for a day, but the more times you test this, you can break through it, okay? So when we go for a weekend sort of perspective for the next 48 hours, the major resistances that we're going to be running into here, obviously the 382, 9,700, okay? The 618, basically 10,000. So we'll say 97, 10,000. And then the overall number one resistance for me, 10,319, which is obviously just the start of our breakdown and our monthly level as well. So really important resistance, 10,319. And, uh, you know, weekend based uh, resistances, 382,618. Okay. Uh, or <laughs> if we potentially fell down now, we would know that we the golden pocket did hold out, okay? But if we just take a trend, I, I was asleep during this time, so this was coming in around 2 a.m. for me. Uh, but if we just take a general trend line through this price action, Okay, what we can say is you are still holding trend, uh, you know, support here as well. Okay, and you also then got an intraday fib, okay, as well. So at the moment, you're just in a really tight range, okay, with that 6.5 resistance, and you've got all of this as now temporary support as well. In the grand scheme of things, we know that the trend is, is down. OK, and this could just be a bear flag. And then we obviously got our, our harmonic pattern, which is trading very nicely still of our butterfly harmonic, which is giving us our target between 9200 and 9K. So we got that nice $200 region there for our target of the of the butterfly, uh, the harmonic going on. OK, then in this grand scheme of things, we can also say that is our horizontal support. If that support is lost, well, it's game on for lower levels. OK, but until that support is lost, this support is support and it has to be viewed as support. OK, and it's, it's when it's lost, we go into lower levels um so yeah into the weekends uh i think it's probably going to be a bit of a choppy weekend okay so overall the trend we have to have to say is down okay that's undeniable the trend is down here but we can still see this leg up going into the weekend which would obviously probably um potentially take out a lot of over leveraged shorters so that i've decided to short here down the bottom so you could see this leg up before another leg down uh, but overall, the trend definitely down. Just be careful of that short of short squeeze going into the weekend. OK, um, so, uh, yeah, those are the immediate resistances that I'm looking at of the fibs. OK, the target obviously being 9K. If you lose 9K, well, yeah, then you're looking down to 88 and lower <laughs> uh, okay but i'll cover that if and when that breakdown happens okay you already know my overall elliott wave count which is our wxy coming down to around seven four okay but we'll we'll update this as and when uh, necessary okay uh so yeah those are the important levels that i'm looking at on bitcoin today i have been trading link 
engine coin uh been in and out of litecoin and ethereum as well so like altcoins generally today have just been nice trades okay uh let's just load up link really quickly you know this was a trade obviously from weekly up to our parallel channel okay so not parallel channel excuse me our trend line resistance which has been like an intra trend line resistance so it goes through price action and we can see it today nicely came back up as as a resistance level for a move down so yeah there's been day trades for link and you know a few other old coins as well i'll look at tom ago now uh but yeah uh, that was uh, that's that's the analysis done. So if you're here for the analysis, thank you so much for for watching. I'd just like to give a quick announcement to say uh, also that the chart champions group is now open. Uh, from my last YouTube video that I done, there was a lot of comments from people saying that they would love a spot uh, in the group. Uh, so this is for you. This is for everybody. Thank you all so, so much for the support. Obviously, the group has been sold out for so long. <laughs> I have decided to temporarily reopen it for you all. So, uh, yeah, if you want this opportunity uh, while it's reopened, then just come along to chartchampions.com. OK, you will be obviously presented with our homepage where you can click on yes show me how okay and you will now finally see that on the information page here that the player contender and champions are now reopened okay so instead of sold out you'll see enroll now so if you wanted to enroll as a champion let's say you'll click on enroll now enter your details click submit and that will uh, allow you into our trading community okay where i would just would like to say again that we have over 50 hours of educational content on the website now so this is packed with value i would say personally but you know i would also say feel free to message anybody uh, that's a member and just ask them on their opinion and uh, you can get an opinion from them as well but personally well yeah there's there's a lot of information here uh 50 hours of educational content and i just really, really want to stress that it's not primarily a signals group okay so this is for uh education and people that want to learn to become a profitable and successful trader okay it's not for uh, people that just want signal calls. So if you're interested in learning uh, how to trade and, you know, be good at it, then this is uh, the, the, the objective for me of, of, of opening the group, okay? Um, or, or you can also come over here as well and just see some of the reviews from uh, people that have freely left, okay, of existing members. So, yeah, that, I just wanted to end saying that this is now open. And if you are interested, you can come over, you know, sign up and then I'll see you inside of the uh, trading community. You can come over, say hello, take some trades with me and uh, yeah, enjoy your time. Nice little family, really nice family that we got going on here. This was one of our, uh, this was one of our posts. Yeah, just, just really nice to everything that everyone really, really close, really, really great, I think. Um, and yeah, I would just like to end, I'll end, end with a little bit of wisdom. Okay, so I'll end with a bit of trading wisdom. So traders, you must decide to take small profits or fast profits, okay? So this is because in a trade, you're never just going to hold profit. You know, you never hold your trade till overall target because you will probably notice if you do that, you might miss your target by $10 and be left then trapped in a trade as it turns around. So in a trade, you always have several take profits. Remember that, okay? And you have to decide whether to take small, fast profits or stay in a trade longer and wait for the second take profit target. Remember, in strong bull and bear markets, like we saw earlier this year, you could hold hold on to trades and trade your stop losses and you know stay in a trade a lot longer but you must remember however in sideways markets what we are in right now okay taking profits earlier is the better strategy okay because you have to remember this at the end of the day is really choppy and although it looks likely that we're coming down for this next leg to 9k it could at the end of the day come up just as easily because we are in this sideways market right now so just with that in mind remember you never lost money taking profits <laughs> no one went broke taking profits and uh, you know in a sideways market generally speaking that is the better strategy to lock in those profits because you are sideways <laughs> so a little bit of uh, trading wisdoms when there and uh, yeah hope that you've enjoyed today's video those are the levels that i am trading off of uh, oh yeah, we also had that really nice parallel channel going on, by the way. Um, but yeah, that's that's for another video. But yeah, we're all still in a nice channel here. But uh, yeah, hope that you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, I'd really appreciate a like. Um, and yeah, let me know down below what do you believe what's your price target for the end of the weekend okay are you looking down towards 9k or lower are you uh, expecting much lower prices to come this weekend or over the next week let's see the next week what are you expecting prices to come down to 8,000, 7,000, or are you expecting a short squeeze and to see us start in the new week above 10K? That would be very interesting. Uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll read through all those comments. Let me know down below how you're expecting this to turn out, bullish or bearish. And uh, yeah, thanks again, and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. Bye.